Bitcoin BTC. Bitcoin, created in 2009 by the pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto, was the first blockchain and remains the most widely recognized. Its purpose is simple. Enable peer-to-peer -peer digital money without banks. Every transaction is recorded on a public distributed ledger, meaning anyone can verify the balances and movements of coins. A Bitcoin transaction involves two cryptographic keys, the public key, which acts like an address, and the private key, which serves as a secure password. When someone sends Bitcoin, the transaction is digitally signed with their private key and broadcast to the network. Miners then validate it through a process called proof of work, which requires solving complex mathematical puzzles. The winning miner adds the transaction block to the chain and is rewarded in newly minted Bitcoin. Each block references the one before it, making the chain resistant to tampering. Bitcoin uses the SHA-256 hashing algorithm to secure transactions, ensuring that once data is written, it cannot be altered. This design makes Bitcoin highly secure, though it processes relatively few transactions per second compared to newer blockchains. Ethereum ETH. Ethereum launched in 2015, created by Vitalik Buterin and others, and it expanded blockchain beyond just digital money. Its key innovation is the smart contract, self-executing code that runs directly on the blockchain. Unlike Bitcoin, which mainly records balances, Ethereum stores programs called decentralized applications DApps, that can automatically execute agreements without intermediate for example, a lending contract on Ethereum can automatically release funds once conditions are met, with no need for a bank. Ethereum originally used the same proof-of-work method as Bitcoin, but with a different hashing algorithm called Ethash, designed to be memory-intensive and discourage centralized mining. In 2022, Ethereum transitioned to proof-of-stake, which replaces miners with validators who lock up ETH as collateral to secure the network. This drastically reduced energy usage and increased scalability potential. Ethereum's flexibility and programmability make it the backbone of decentralized finance, DeFi, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and countless blockchain-based apps. However, its popularity has led to network congestion and high transaction fees, issues it is addressing with scaling solutions such as roll-ups and sharding. Binance Smart Chain, BNB Chain. Binance Smart Chain, now called BNB Chain, was launched in 2020 by the crypto exchange Binance. Its design focuses on speed and affordability Affordability, making it one of the most widely used blockchains for decentralized finance, DeFi. Unlike Bitcoin or early Ethereum, BNB Chain does not rely on proof-of-work. Instead, it uses a system called Proof-of-Staked Authority, POSA, where a limited group of validators is chosen based on their staked BNB and reputation to confirm transactions. This makes block times very short, just a few seconds, and keeps transaction fees extremely low compared to Ethereum. Developers often build decentralized exchanges, lending protocols, and yield farming platforms on BNB chain because users can interact with them without paying high gas fees. However, its validator set is smaller and more centralized than Ethereum or Bitcoin, raising concerns about decentralization and security. Despite that, its combination of fast performance, low cost, and integration with the Binance ecosystem has made BNB chain one of the most active blockchains in daily transaction volume. Solana, SOL. Solana, launched in 2020, is designed for very high performance performance, processing tens of thousands of transactions per second. Its defining innovation is Proof of History, POH, a cryptographic clock that timestamps transactions before they are added to the blockchain. This allows validators to agree on the order of events without waiting for traditional consensus rounds, drastically reducing delays. Solana combines Proof of History with Proof of Stake, where validators secure the network by staking SOL tokens. The result is extremely fast block times, often less than a second, and very low transactions transaction costs, typically just fractions of a cent. This makes Solana attractive for decentralized exchanges, gaming applications, and NFT marketplaces that need high throughput. However, Solana has faced criticism for occasional network outages caused by overwhelming traffic or bugs, showing the trade-off between speed and stability. Even with these challenges, Solana is seen as one of the most technologically ambitious blockchains, aiming to compete with traditional payment systems in speed and efficiency. Cardano, ADA. Cardano was launched in 2017 by Charles Hoskinson, one of Ethereum's co-founders, and it takes a research-driven approach to blockchain development. Every feature in Cardano is built on peer-reviewed academic research, aiming for long-term stability and security. Its consensus mechanism is Ouroboros, a form of proof-of-stake that divides time into epochs and
seven slots. Validators, called slot leaders, are chosen to create blocks based on the amount of ADA they have staked, making the system energy efficient compared to proof of work. Cardano also separates its blockchain into two layers, the settlement layer, which handles ADA transactions, and the computation layer, which runs smart contracts. This layered design is meant to improve flexibility and scalability. Unlike blockchains that launch features rapidly, Cardano introduces updates in carefully planned phases, such as Byron, Shelley, Gauguin, Basho, and Voltaire, each focusing on different aspects like decentralization, smart contracts, and governance. While critics point out that Cardano has rolled out features more slowly than competitors, its methodical approach has built a reputation for strong security and academic rigor. Polkadot. Dot. Polkadot, created by Gavin Wood, another Ethereum co-founder, was launched in 2020 with a focus on interoperability. Unlike most blockchains that operate in isolation, Polkadot is designed to connect many blockchains into a single ecosystem. At the center is the relay chain, which provides the network's security and consensus. Connected to it are multiple parachains, individual blockchains that can be customized for different uses, such as finance, gaming, or identity management. Parachains benefit from the security of the relay chain, but still maintain independence in their operations. To join as a parachain, projects usually win a slot auction, where participants lock up DOT tokens to back their preferred project. Polkadot uses nominated proof of stake, NPOS, where token holders nominate trusted validators to secure the network. This model balances decentralization with efficiency, while enabling high throughput. The main advantage of Polkadot is that it allows blockchains to share data and assets seamlessly, solving the silo problem that limits many standalone blockchains. Its flexibility and ability to evolve without hard forks make it a leading project in the push for a multi-chain future.